We are considering the subject of time and the whole concept of the future. And the point of departure that I would like to suggest to you is that time is a social institution and not a physical reality. There is, in other words, no such thing as time in the natural world, the world of stars and waters and mountains and clouds and living organisms. There is such a thing as rhythm, rhythm of tides, rhythm of biological processes. But time as such is a social institution. Uh, in the same way that uh, language is, that number is, that concepts are, and all measurements, inches, meters, lines of latitude and longitude, all those things are social institutions or conventions. The word convention from the Latin conveniri, to come together, to agree about something, to hold a convention, and thus, of course, uh, in its deteriorated sense, when we say of something it's purely conventional, that is to say, you needn't take it seriously. Now, of course, are we going to take time seriously? That is the big question. And it depends what you mean. If you don't understand that time is a convention, of course, you take it seriously. And you are driven by time. Time is money. Time is of the essence. And we do, don't we, live in a culture or a complex of cultures in the Western world where we are literally driven by time. If you read a book like Jules Henry's marvelous work, Culture Against Man, he documents in the most extraordinary way to what an extent this particular culture is driven. So that even the psychologists have altered uh, the word, the old fashioned word instincts, and now they call them drives. Because there's this feeling You've got to make that deadline. There's something there you've got to get to. And people feel driven even when, um, supposing uh, that something's going to happen, you've got an appointment coming up. And some people find that in a strange way unsettling. They're so either eager to make this thing or so anxious about it that in between time they can't do anything else. They're incapacitated until it happens, until the blessed event or whatever it is occurs. And time then obviously is a way of measuring motion by comparing motion with some sort of constant. Now the constant in the question of time is a circle marked out in 360 or 60 degrees. And that is time.